Hey tennis fans, I'm Grace Carter and this is Tennis Now presented by Tennis Express. Tennis Express, order today and it ships today. It looks like tennis may be on the brink of another gambling scandal, at least that's the word coming from a recent report from the German media. ZDF Sports dropped a bombshell reporting an ongoing corruption investigation into more than 135 tennis players worldwide. The German site says raids and investigations have been conducted in the United States, Spain, France, and in Belgium, and the FBI has reportedly been in contact with Belgian officials over the alleged corruption. Now, a Belgian official told ZDF Sports that the case is about the Armenian betting mafia network that has spread across seven countries in Europe and has cheated on a large scale. The report alleges an intelligent scheme involving corrupt players working with gamblers to fix matches. And rather than making a few big bets on the suspected fixed matches, a network of gamblers made hundreds of smaller bets to avoid detection. The International Betting Integrity Association says they found 50 suspicious betting alerts reported on all sports in the third quarter of 2019. But get this, 30 of those 50 alerts were on tennis matches. That's more than soccer, which had 15 alerts. Now, it's important to note these are reports of suspicious betting. It doesn't necessarily mean that all 30 involve actual match fixing. We'll have to see how all that plays out. But in 2019, the Tennis Integrity Unit issued suspensions or bans to more than 20 players, with most competing at the lower levels of the pro circuit. Argentinian player Marco Trugaletti stepped forward as a whistleblower to expose gamblers who approached him to fix matches. He told ZDF Sports that he believes this new scandal involves some players in the top 50 and says the problem isn't just limited to the lower level players. Now, tennis rules require players to report any suspicious contacts. However, Marco Trugaletti says that he paid a price for being a tennis whistleblower, that he's been ostracized by other players who call him a snitch. He claims that even players he considered friends asked why he didn't just keep his mouth shut. Marco's testimony did help authorities in a case against Nicholas Kicker, also an Argentinian, who was found guilty of match fixing and other offenses in June of 2018. He was ultimately suspended for six years and fined $25,000. But here's the twist. Trugaletti, who says he did the right thing by reporting the activity, says the authorities have not publicly supported him. He says they used him and then, quote, dropped him in the middle of the sea. The Tennis Integrity Unit told the AP it cannot comment on the case because of confidentiality rules. Meanwhile, German media reports the current investigation into corruption is almost done and authorities are expected to issue a report in the next few months. We, of course, will continue to follow this story and keep you updated. I'm Grace Carter. We'll see you next time here on Tennis Now.